The Swiss companies have definitely valued Turkey very high since ever. Uh, I think the first senior serious investments in Turkey started in the 30s, and nowadays Swiss companies are ranked number six uh, among the investors in uh, in Turkey. So I think you can say that Switzerland is a major investor in Turkey. Well, uh, I, I would like to, to uh, stress two areas. There are many more, but there are two areas where I where I think there is a potential to do more. One is health, and I think the, the conference we're having today together with Novartis is important in this regard. And the other one is to cooperation on uh, contractors, of big construction projects, not just in Turkey, but also elsewhere. There were some very good examples of cooperation between Swiss companies and Turkish contractors. And uh, there have been discussions, and I think there are promising uh, promising prospects in this regard and a lot of interest both in Turkey and in Switzerland for this type of project. We are very impressed to see the uh, dynamism of Turkish contracting companies all over the world. I think that after China, uh, Turkey comes first when it comes to infrastructure projects in the world and uh, well, Swiss companies are interested to work with, together with Turkish companies for that. The investors are looking at a number of things like uh, stability, macroeconomic stability. They are also looking at the legal framework, at the rule of law, and the judiciary. These are all issues which are very important for investors before making uh, investment decisions. And I must say that if you look at Turkey over the long-term perspective, what is amazing about the country is its geopolitical situation, which will not change, which has been there for thousands of years, but uh, also at, the, at its population. I do believe that there is a pool of young, talented entrepreneurs, innovators in Turkey, and uh, while I'm here, I would really like to uh, raise awareness with uh, potential Swiss investors about these very positive trends in the society. I spoke uh, last week to a Swiss investor who is present on the Chinese market and he said there is no way we're going to leave the Chinese market because it's very profitable to us. But maybe new investment, greenfield investment, could be directed to Turkey now because of the higher cost of transportation and other issues like that. Well, I th I, well frankly, what I would really like... Uh, potential investor from Switzerland to do is to come here and map and scout the innovation scene, especially the high tech, the high tech scene, because I have, I have met lots of young people, entrepreneurs, who, who, who seem to have a lot of talent. Some of them are very successful, as we know, especially in uh, computer games, but I'm pretty sure that there would be, there can be other opportunities in other areas of high tech and innovation and digitalization which would be profitable also for our companies.